Hi, I am Sam Sadiq and today I am here to show you the new update of Ultra Hybrid Tone Shader. Uh, in this update, uh, I did few improvements. Uh, first of all, uh, previous outline system was, was using 2 by 2 kernel and in new update, I am using 3 by 3 kernel. If you see this sphere from the right side, as you can see the outline is fading away and if I switch to the screenshot of new uh, outline uh, update as you can see now uh, in new uh, update outline is more uh, visible and crisp and uh, second uh, improvement uh, which I did in previous version outlines for rendering uh, outside of mesh boundary but in this uh, update I am rendering the outlines inside of mesh boundary for example uh, in older version if you uh, focus on the line uh, at the edge of sky and uh, uh, landscape if you uh, see closely there is uh, outline but uh, it's uh, getting mixed up with the color of sky that's why it's uh, so light in color that it's almost invisible and the reason is that uh, I'm sampling the scene color by default for the outline and, and I'm darkening those scene colors uh, to generate the outline and for that area uh, as I uh, mentioned before that I was rendering the outlines outside of mesh boundary so it's being rendered on the sky at the edge of uh, uh, terrain on the sky so that's why it's so bright that it's almost uh, invisible so in new version instead of rendering uh, uh, the outer line outside of mesh boundary i'm rendering it inside of mesh boundary which makes it visible and uh, avoid that kind of issues and if i go uh, back again now uh, if you focus on those areas uh, the new uh, 3 by 3 matrix also improved those lines uh, now it generate uh, better lines our lines are more crisp and uh, coming back to the uh, next thing uh, in previous video I mentioned that uh, I disabled the outlines for water by default because in anime and cartoons water bodies doesn't have outlines so uh, as I was rendering the outer line outside of mesh boundary so that was causing the issue like the area of mesh which is on water and to to be clear if water is in the background of some object uh, that object will lose the uh, outline from the area which is over water as you can see this sphere this sphere and this sphere it has the outline on this area but as soon as uh, it appear on the water it's losing the outline and I also improved this uh, feature like uh, in new update it's rendering outline it doesn't matter if uh, object in the background have outlines or don't uh, it won't affect the other objects and uh, there is uh, also another feature regarding grooms uh, groom asset and uh, hairs this is realistic render if i uh, switch to the previous shading as you can see uh, it's rendering outlines but it creating the uh, weird hollow effect on that where it's creating nodal like effect and it's uh, not filling out these areas and uh, if you see the eyebrows and uh, eyelashes of characters uh, these are almost invisible it's uh, uh, very hard to uh, notice those 
so those were the issues so to render the hairs and groom assets uh, i'm using different uh, outline rendering approach which is more precise if i move to the screenshot my new or outline update as you can see in this new update it's rendering the eyebrows and eyelashes more accurately and it also filling out those areas and if i go to realistic scene compared to a uh, realistic scene the older version didn't look closer because uh, when it loses the eyebrows and eyelashes it looks little bit weird but uh, with this new update now it looks more similar to the uh, realistic character and uh, now i will move toward the engine and uh, this is the feature outline high precision here by default it's enabled so uh, it creates the high quality outlines on the groom assets even if you have birds which have feather or if you have animals which have fur uh, it, it will work on them as well so there is another option high precision custom depth stencil option this option is for those uh object uh, which have the groom asset but are not using hair shading model it's basically uh, masking out the shading model and based on hair shading model that's applying on uh, applying the precise outlines on the hairs and by default meta human has uh, hair shading model on the groom assets so that's why it's uh, capturing those uh, hairs and implementing the precise outlines and that's it uh, if you are still watching this video then thanks for watching this video if you want to buy this shader you can buy it from the marketplace i will leave the link in description take care